Hey, today I am going to do something completely different from what I've had in the past and, and to show you guys how to program a Baofeng UV5R in the field. It's so simple, but I, maybe I'm not looking in the right place, but I haven't found a simple video to help me through this process. So since I've become accustomed to the radio, I figure it might be useful for other folks to have something really simple, really quick and concise. Let's get into it, UV5R. So guys, I have a really low production quality. I'm using my phone and I basically want you to know that this is not gonna be the most amazing video. I'm just trying to present information that is helpful and straightforward. So what you're looking at here is my local repeater. It's 147.200 megahertz. That is my frequency. It operates on a positive shift of 0.6 megahertz with a PL tone or CTCSS of 88.5 hertz. Now with the Baofangs, you have to program all of this in. It doesn't do anything automatically for you. My Yesu programs the offset automatically, which is really nice. In some odd cases where the repeater is set differently from like a international standard or whatever, you'll be able to adjust that with, with a little bit of work through the menus. But this, you have to program everything. So let's take a look at that and how to do it. First things first, get your radio on, okay? And make sure you are not in your memory mode. If you see numbers over here, 15, those are your memory channels. You need to get over into the VFO or variable frequency oscillator. I've already programmed or set this frequency to 14720, but I need to make sure that it's got my PL tone and my shift set properly. So you go into your menu and you, in order to change that, you press menu again. So I know that I need to be 88.5, so I'm gonna go ahead and press menu and leave it there. Let's turn to someone's break and squelch here. And so that's menu item 13, so there's shortcuts for you. Now you don't need to set the receive side. Let's go what happened here. It will back out of the menu automatically if you're not quick on the draw with your buttons. So menu, Yes, we're set to 88.5. You do not need to set your receive unless the repeater is programmed that way, which isn't typical. Um, so now we need to go to menu item 25. We need to set our shift. Hit menu, go through the arrows, off. Sometimes we get a repeater that doesn't, rec um, wait, if you're doing simplex, you don't need the shift. When you're using a repeater, you're gonna have a negative or a positive shift. So in this case, it's positive. Menu, set that. My next menu item is number 26. So you can see that 26 flashing there in the corner. I need my net, my offset to be 0 0.6 megahertz. So 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0. whoops. Anyway, you get the idea. Careful with your numbers of zeros. Hit menu and it's set. So now you can see the plus sign at the very top, plus 6.6 .6 megahertz offset. And now, I'm gonna go back and test it. So I'm gonna test that again at, with the function. And if you have your ham radio license, do this. If you don't, don't do this until you get your license. Kilo India 7 Whiskey Juliet Papa, KI7 WJP, testing. I, you can hear I keyed the repeater. I can I can hear the repeater so the frequency's right. Um, now, unless I start talking with somebody, I don't actually know how my radio is working, but I do know that I key the repeater, and so that's important. That's part of your PL tone or 88.5 hertz. Next step, you'll probably want to put this in the memory so it becomes part of your memory. Um, that way you can access it from the MR this side. And see, I've programmed that into memory 15, but I want to do it again to show the video how this is done. So. Uh, make sure your arrow is up here, so you're selecting the right frequency that you're trying to work with and program it to your memory. Menu, and menu item number 27, memory channel. Now when you hit menu to open it up to program it, you'll see the CH in front of the number means that it has something programmed in it. So you don't want to, unless you really want to overwrite the existing programming for say memory 12, uh, go ahead and look for one that just has a number. Do, do, do. I've done a little bit of programming. 
But for field programming, this is pretty straightforward. So there we go. Now I'm into the clear. I am going to program this to 53. There we go. So now this is loaded into my memory mode, 53. So exit, VFO, and let's hit, because it's a three digit memory system, you have 053. And here's my program frequency for this repeater. And don't worry about the plus minus thing. You've programmed it to a plus offset, so you don't have to worry about that. It's in there the way you programmed it. Uh, one thing to keep in mind too is I believe when you go into program, you can set the power. So, but you can also change that by pressing the hash key here, low, low, but that's that. These radios are super simple as far as functionality goes. Hopefully this has been good for you. Um, I know it would have been super nice to have something so simple for me when I was looking into program one of these because I'm not a super techie guy. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please go ahead and like it and help me out here. I might post a bit more about radio stuff.